improvements done early on when I had the mill. And one of the things I was told was that not enough guys do this. You really need to keep everything lubricated well. So I was getting the maintenance done early on when I had the mill. And one of the things I was told was that not enough guys do this. You really need to keep everything lubricated well. And what the guy told me was that um, he'd gone to mills that every chain was just rusted up. And I've never had that problem. I have had the uprights rust a little bit. Um, leaving it over to winter without being well treated enough I guess or just not treating it several times.
Okay, I still got to do this end. Looks pretty dirty, huh? I don't wipe it down. I'm sure some guys do, but I don't. That's dirt. It's going to get on there over and over again. Okay, it's 80 degrees and the GoPro shut down because it got too hot. So I've got uh, most of the lubrication done. Belts cleaned, wheels cleaned up, um, all that's looking good. I still have to do an oil change. I got to tighten up the drive chain and that's about it. So we're going to run the mill real quick, um, run through the hydraulics, move the mill head down, set it somewhere in the middle so that I can finish lube in the other end. And then once all that's done, I'll check the hydraulic fluid, add as needed. And then the last thing I've got to do is the chain, tighten up the chain. So we'll get that done. And then the old jarhead mill will be just about ready to go. I do need um, to do the oil change. So that's one thing I got to remember to do. And I probably need to order some air filters. Um, it's been a few years, so it's probably time. I've got to pull those off. So we'll check those out. I have an inner uh, filter. I don't have the outer filters, so I'll have to check those and see how they look. Uh, but it's 80 degrees. I got half an hour before the air show starts running right over the house, which is what delayed me yesterday. Can't help it. I love seeing an F-35 fly around. So let's see what we can get done here now. cover another piece of advice I got was to fill that ATF make sure it's good and soft and wet the ATF soak it down the thing is you got a thirty thousand dollar sawmill or whatever they run today you want to take care of it especially if you think you're gonna earn a living with it or mill your own lumber you absolutely want to take care of this sucker. And then we go ahead and fill that sucker up, put it back on. All right, almost there. Check the hydraulics. I gotta remember to fix this sucker. Pull that off down to the hydraulics. Check that out. I could come in and blow some of this out and I need to clean out these idlers here a little better. So I'll have to hit those harder. Um, you know, it looks dirty, but actually it's, it's actually well lubricated and that's the key. Keep it lubricated. All right, so I'll get the um, hydraulics checked. The other thing I was looking at is my chain, just in the chain over here. What they say is that that chain should run about halfway along this guy here. It's a little bit low, maybe. Um, it's halfway on the marker light. And that looks like it could come up about a quarter of an inch, maybe just a little bit tighter. So probably a good idea. That bottom rail didn't look real pretty, but it's working. Get that done, and I also might swap the tires. This should be wearing a little bit odd, so we'll see. One thing you should find is these orange wipes. You can get them at a number of different supply places, the Granger, places like that, I guess. Um, those are good to have. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna take a break. It's about 85 out, shop's getting awfully warm and I like to kind of keep it cool in here so I can come in here and work. 
So we're just gonna move some stuff out of the way, get ready for the air show, which is gonna fly right over the sawmill. So, close up the shop, put the AC on. So, um, a little red toolbox you saw me using, that's my sawmill box. It goes with the sawmill. I've got a couple other boxes that go with it. Um, I do have one last thing to do other than the oil change, so I'm gonna get some stuff to do that too, and I'll get that done this week. The other one is check belt tension on the drive belt. So I'll try to get that done either in an evening when it's cooler out uh, or in the morning when it's cool. So we'll see you know, which of those I get. I can do that on site as well. If you, once you do it enough, it's something that you just have to do. Um, really, I, I, think, I think they say about every 100 hours or so. Um, I can't honestly remember. Again, I'd have to check the book. Truthfully, I watch the cuts. If the cuts start to get wavy when I'm milling and I haven't adjusted in a while, I stop, change the band, check the belt tension, then continue on. So, um, and this is just basic maintenance. This is basic maintenance that you need to do on the mill if you run a mill regularly. I've been milling about, oh, 10, 11. I think this is the 11th year of milling and the sixth year, I think, of running this mill. And, um, you know, you learn certain things. Starting to get wavy and it's not big, heavy, hard knots in pine. You know, um, if the band is, is sharp, and it's new then chances are it's your dry belt is a bit on the loose side so you got to tighten that up so i like to try to get set up the night before then you get rolling you roll all day long cleaning the mill as you go i, I like to use the air uh, to blow everything out and keep it running clean while i'm operating you know as it gums up boom spray everything out get it out of the way um, usually that's a band change um, so one of the things that i try to teach my uh, customers is that when I go to do a band change we clean up we get the site cleaned up now that could be in two hours and it could be in four hours and it could be in one hour all depends on the wood you know there was one job I was doing I milled 40,000 board feet for a customer up in Malott Washington he had big 450 to 500 board foot logs um, that were dry and hard so you don't mill dry right we, we prefer to mill wet as wet as we can get if you could drop it on the mill safely and buck her up and cut it right then and there that's the way to go so obviously you got dry logs dry logs are going to burn up the teeth a lot faster it's going to it's going to dull the band and so i was only getting about a band an hour uh really almost just a band of logs sometimes i could stretch it a little bit more but so you know that once you get that log off the mill, and if you're milling a 500 board foot log and you're doing it in an hour, approximately a little bit less, you're milling at that 500 board foot an hour rate, but it takes a lot of work to get there. So anyway, you get that last cuts off the mill, take the band off, spray everything out, clean everything up. And this customer was awesome because he got it. He was a heavy duty mechanic uh, in his regular day to day job and so as soon as i shut her down and started pulling the band off boom he had the air compressor out he had to he had a leaf blower he would use to blow all the sawdust off the mill we would clean up the mill get everything done and then boom get back on her again and a band doesn't take take very long to change if you do it a lot so you're really knocking them out pretty quick and getting right back next log back up on the mill and away you go so maintenance on the mill i'm doing it a bit slow just trying to trying to kind of show you a little bit as i go but it's something that you do over and over and over and over and you just constantly keep it up you need that mill well lubricated otherwise things are going to break and you keep the books with you i'll show you mine are sitting right underneath this toolbox right here down there i take those with me on the job site when i'm not on the job site they go on the shelf now this is a new shop even though it's actually been here it was finished more or less finished in november of last year so I'm a little slow to getting fully moved in, but um, we'll get moved into it. And once we do, life will be good. All right, well, listen, that's it for now, folks. Um, planes are gonna be flying overhead in about two minutes. So we're gonna cut this off and I might even throw a little F-35 action in for you uh, as it flies over the sawmill. We'll talk to you again soon. Right at us now, watch that. Right over the sawmill.
speed up. Look at that. right over us. That was awesome. You know, I understand because I get chills. I'm getting chills right now. Just watching. I just, can you imagine living right by the airbase and this daily? I'd be pretty cool. I'd be loud, but we can just shout that. Yeah. Mostly what I heard was artillery. He's going so fast. So there right he is. Right at us, coming at us now. Oh, look, it's going up, it's coming towards us. <laughs> 